Hi, Pisces. It's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Um, if you would like to experience Pisces readings on the regular, um, that's all my channel here does. And uh, I hope that this is helpful for you. This, if you haven't caught by the little backing here, I ordered this deck off of Etsy. It's a deck that's all about like wealth, abundance, money matters, jobs, career, that kind of thing, okay? Um, so I did a little test run with it and I'm gonna try Celtic Cross for the um, collective with it. I'm gonna clarify also with another deck if need be. Um, and I just kind of want to see what Pisces needs to know, what the collective uh, may benefit from most in the area of wealth, career, and abundance, what they might be dealing with, and advice. Okay, so thank you so much for clicking and checking it out. I'm just going to set up here. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed already. Anyone who is a member, who donates, who sends me little gifties, whatever it is you guys do. I really love and appreciate all of the wonderful attention. Mm hmm. Okay, remember, not every reading's for everybody. So, um,. Only take the stuff that makes sense for you and then leave the rest, okay? What's underneath everything here? Okay. One of the cards at the bottom of the deck here, and I said I'm going to be clarifying with tarot, so let's see how this unfolds, but it says unrealistic. This says your expectations in the future are unrealistic and need revision. Perhaps your vision is big and may require a plan and need more careful thought. You could be setting yourself up for failure if you don't set realistic financial goals. Okay, so there could be an underlying um, sort of theme here for some people out there of... Perhaps there were sort of dreams, ideas, wishes, and things that didn't have, like, in the Moonology deck, right? There's that card that says your dreams need a, pla a practical plan. That feels like that's what this is doing here. Um, that, what that's kind of saying is that there could have been a time where there's certain wishes, certain intentions, maybe manifestations, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, the desires that we have, but them not being necessarily as grounded um, or that there's a maybe not a plan in place. It's just I know that I want the thing. I'm not sure how to get the thing, um, but maybe not uh, realistic steps towards it, Okay. We have in the center energy, center general energy, the office. Okay. So for some of you, this could be pretty simple. You could be um, like someone who's been in an office or you could be kind of stuck to office work. Some of you could be aspiring to that kind of thing. This says, think of the greater good, the greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome. Consider careers in administrative or management roles, manage your time better, and or delegate tasks to be more productive. So for some of you, you may have been uh, trying to learn your way through something like this. It says to think of the greater good. So that's kind of like teamwork, three of pentacles kind of energy, working together. Some of you may have been in administrative roles before. That's something that you may aspire to. Give me some more insight on this office card, please. Seven of Swords. Hmm, interesting. Some of you could have ex have had negative experiences in office environments. Um, or for some of you, you could have discovered, I'm wanting to say for some of you, you could have discovered that you thought you were going to work in administration. Maybe you thought you were going to work in um, some kind of organized traditional structure. And th that's not actually honest to who you are. Okay. Um, perhaps like it talks about thinking of the greater good. Maybe you're someone who's very teamwork focused, or maybe you didn't haven't felt ethically aligned with the jobs that you've had or you like you you're just like energetically not in it um it's like you're going in and you're going through the motions this doesn't have to be an office in particular but i'm trying to think of the vibe of that right of going to like an organized space with a bunch of people you come together you usually work for a particular wage 
and you know you're trying to like manage time delegate as you can you could have with the seven of swords showing up here it feels like there could have been um centrally you could be experiencing some kind of issues around that it makes you almost feel dishonest or maybe makes you feel like others around you are dishonest maybe a sense of like is no one else seeing this right from what the other things that are here i I've, i feel like there could be uh, something going on there what's crossing you we have loss this could be an obstacle but this is talking about expecting that there's possibly some financial turmoil that there could have been a job loss um i feel like for some of you if you're you might be in a career right now this isn't to me so much foretelling this is more like you could be just going through the motions at whatever you're doing because maybe you have experienced financial losses in the past or you're afraid of one in the future, right? You've known what it's like to struggle, uh, maybe with the pandemic or with other things that have happened. There's this sort of um, desire to try to keep control. Like at least this is, say, and hey, everyone has to do it at some point in their life, right? Sometimes we do just have to trade our time for money to try and... Um, keep our heads above water yeah ten of swords and the queen of pentacles mm -hmm. so this feels like really wanting like it was a very painful thing that i think made being very prudent um a little difficult for some um if you've gone through other tough times and had a financial loss Sometimes we get so stifled with the idea of not having what we want when we want it or that we feel like we're not getting ahead that sometimes our financial decisions aren't great because we just want to feel <laughs> like abundant, you know, we just want to feel like we have a grounded energy there. There is earth sign energy here with the queen of pentacles. So there could be um, a smothering energy. If it's showing up as an obstacle here for me, this feels like you could have a uh, possibly... I'm wanting to say a micromanager for some reason, but I don't think it has to be. You could have a mother figure. Maybe there's family expectations or something like that as far as what your career is supposed to be. Um, on the foundation, or sort of like what you're standing on here, we have unexpected. I feel like for some of you, you've been trying to prepare for losses more than for abundance this is a financial crisis out of your control, but you can still control this outcome to deal with things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. You have the ability to set yourself up in a smarter way, okay? I feel like that's what this is saying. Um, that if you're afraid of things, the rug getting pulled out from under you, there are practical things that you can do to help yourself avoid that, okay? What do we have here? The Knight of Cups and the nine of swords okay yeah so after some times where you've had some maybe some anxiety going after dreams this feels like for some of you it's like at night you're perhaps receiving dreams and information thinking about the things that you want to do wanting to take off at, at, towards the things that actually like fill your cup and make you feel very very um fulfilled and it's almost like preparing for the unexpected to a certain point helps give you a little bit better platform here so that feels like this is what it's trying to say in the past, we have unethical, okay? So this saying, don't, val don't sacrifice your morals for money, unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone could be stealing or lying to you about money. Um, so this can take many forms. There was all kinds of stuff that came into my head when I started reading this. So like I said, you could be in an office environment where something is weird or, you know, you can tell something's off. You could be not ethically aligned with wherever it is you make your money or how, okay? Um, in the past, you may have dealt with consequences from other people's unethical behavior in money or business, may have been stolen from, may have had people lie to you about money. Um, I was also wanting to say to some of you that you could have been led almost down the garden path as it is, like how they say it's like uh, you could have had gurus, even readers, people telling you this is the thing to do with this and it didn't work or it wasn't helpful to you in a practical sense. Yeah, the emperor. So 
you, possibly corporate um, with the emperor here. Aries energy, a lot of controlling kind of energy. You could have had a, had a domineering boss who was like unethical underneath uh, everything behind the scenes. This also feels like order, instruction, like, what about this emperor? I want something else. Four of swords, ooh. In the reverse, I don't think I even threw reversals in here. Not that I remember. Some of you feel like you were overworked to the point of exploitation. And I think that was something that has probably why po possibly what you're experiencing now. This is giving me a very entrepreneurial vibe, like someone who's making the transition. I think that's, that's a huge theme in the world right now, right? Is like trying to break away um, from the so-called secured income, safe ways of doing things. Some of you, it was to the point of burnout. It was almost like the, the world was dictating to you that you needed to do this thing and then promises were kind of broken in a way because it's not real. <laughs> not real. In the mind space, we have beware. Okay, a little tricky fox. It says, be prudent. Things may not be what they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters and don't make any type of financial commitments. Some of you, I think it's like a very a wariness, right? There's a little bit of unease and wariness here. For some of you, it's like you might be keeping your plans very close to your chest in a way. Some of you have really sort of tuned in through these old experiences um, to the fact that not everybody is going to have your best in like your your best um No, not everyone's going to have the best of intentions. And so there's a little bit of wariness there. So you might be very much keeping, this might be um, make a practical plan, do those, you know, trying to bring things into the real, into the groundedness, but also to not necessarily share your goals and aspirations with every single person. It's like the intent to grow in silence, right? Like, I'll just do it. I'm not going to talk to other people about business or money matters. Sometimes in family dyna dynamics or friend dynamics, um, you, we can get pressured into doing things we're not ready for, right? Like buying a house. We can get pressured into going with like maybe your dad's financial advisor. But, you know, that that person doesn't actually want the best for you, okay? Um, they want to make money off of fees or there's something like that, right? I feel like there's some things that you're figuring out um, that are causing a lot of just caution, caution energy. Yeah, two of cups. Trying to have a more harmonious connection here. Uh, there could be a partner also in the plan. Um, you might not be, say, with your romantic partner. If you have one, you could be on opposing energies in a way, trying to bring harmony into your vision and see eye to eye on money matters, okay? Uh, that might be difficult for some, but it feels like having that more harmonious relationship is something that can be attained because it is showing up in your highest outcome here in the top. With the fear position, this is interesting because it's kind of like Pisces, right? Talking about your perspective on the situation. It says to overcome your fear of success or failure and don't sabotage your successes. Don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. It may require to step out, you to step out of your comfort zone to achieve the abundance that you desire. Mm -hmm. It feels like for a lot of you, there is like realizing how many of these things that you've been dealing with are connected to fear, right? Let me clarify this before I move on. Yeah, I got the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. So some of you, it's like almost like going towards the things that you love and bring you more fulfillment that feel energetically aligned with what you need is, is what you're feeling like is going to create the luckier, like luckier kind of environment for you. It's like you become more lucky is what I'm kind of feeling here. The, the more that you move out of fear and move through the world with love, intentions um, that are pure, realistic, grounded, right? Very nice outcome here. In your near future, we have patience, okay? 
So patience, it's saying here that divine timing is at hand. It will require you having some faith while you're being shown the way. You could feel tired. You could feel out of balance because the universe is actually forcing you to rest and recover, right? We had this four of swords in the reverse. So some of you could be overworked, burnt out. You could have been in toxic work environments. You could have had... Maybe you worked like this emperor energy for some reason. It was like you could have had a covert narcissist or a straight up narcissist as a boss. Someone who is a real uh, taskmaster, right? Someone who really drove things. Um, like that really sort of burned. <laughs> it really affected you in the physical sense. Getting back to your groundedness, I think, is probably what's really hard. Um, recovering. I feel like that's probably what you've been going through here. Let's take a look here. I like how this says divine timing in the near future and then in your perspective you have the wheel. So it's probably that some of you are coming into the realization that that's actually what's kind of happening here. You learned, even though this path was crappy, you learned a lot. You probably learned more than you think, you know. Oh, the Hierophant. Okay. Yeah, spirituality is a big part of the Hierophant's message. Um, commitment, commitment to self. These are both like, we have a monk on this here, and then we have the Hierophant is like the Pope of the deck, right? So these are both about sort of getting into touch with your spirituality. And I feel like there's something about your energetic center becoming more in alignment that could be very much uh, beneficial in your, in your near future. Higher commitments. Some of you might be going back to school. You might be learning something new. Um, you might be... I think there are a couple universities, like for instance, like stuff I look into because I'm like, I'm restless. <laughs> I'm always looking for like new skills and, uh, and things to do. And I'm considering, I think there's one of the major universities in the United States that offers, I think their whole like computer code writing course is like free and online. And you can learn how to do that. We're coming into an information age, right? Like that might be something that you're thinking of. Like there's, there are sometimes free resources, things that you can learn on YouTube even. This is an amazing place to learn things. So for some of you, it might re require higher learning or commitment there also. In your, your environment, this is amazing that this particular card came out, right? The people you spend the most time with shape who you are, right? So this feels like it's a Whatever your environment is, surrounding work, finance, your friends, your family, your significant other, whatever it happens to be, this is a reminder to you that whoever is in that space, you be mindful of the attitudes that they have towards money, success, and abundance. Towards, like, do you have friends that you see them, you know... You, they always complain that they never get ahead, but they maybe they have a temper at work and they never address it. And you're just like, dude, you always fly off the handle at your freaking supervisor and then you get in trouble and you're mad that like you need to work on, it isn't so just the job, you have to work on your, on your anger, you know, like there's other stuff there. Um, so you could see people struggling in ways that are like practical or people saying they never get ahead, but they for whatever reason, every time the new car lease, like I remember having a coworker who would talk about how happy he was to pay off their car, right? And then I was like, oh, that's good. That must feel so good, right? Not to have that, that car payment anymore. And like, think of what you could do with that savings. And he was like, yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know, we get a new one every time. And it was like, okay, but like, how much is your car payment, right? And it'd be like three, $400 a month. And it's okay, but what you could invest that you could do something else with that, right? Oh, yeah, but we want the new thing, you know? Um, and it's like, sure, you want the new thing. I want the new thing. Everybody wants the new thing, you know? Um, so you could be noticing those attitudes around you. Um, you might be being asked not to let them rub off so much. Four of Wands, yes. Success, home, victory. Yeah, real focus on harmonious relationships. And 11, 11s. So this is like trying to make your surroundings energetically in line with who, what you actually want, right? We have to practice who we want um, to be. That's what that feels like there. Real emphasis on home, stability, and foundations with the Four of Wands. And hopes and fears. This is interesting. So let's dig in. We have beauty. 
We have embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Yes. Yes. Especially, so any of those messages could be for you. Not all of them necessarily need to apply. Some of you could have a fear of embracing your own unique self and, and standing out, especially if you've been in sort of like homogenous um, environments or careers. You, everyone's expected to to do the same thing in the same way, to, to stay in line with stuff, and it could make it feel uncomfortable. For others, maybe you've had a, a desire to do creative things, to make, to create, to sell your your clothes make an Etsy, um, enhancing beauty in some way. So, I mean, that can be makeup. That can also be like uh, physical fitness. That could be body positivity. That could be um, helping people work on their self-esteem to see their own inner beauty. This is all like talking about how your inner world having to match your outer world for things to change. Like right down here moving away from fear moving towards things with love and hope and acceptance i want a little more on this some of you might even be afraid to see how freaking beautiful like you as a being in the world can be it's almost like sometimes that self-sabotaging energy can come in when we're scared of our own power like what if it's true what if i'm not just a small fish in a big pond you know <laughs> like and remember for some reason i got koi or goldfish I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, how it's like a goldfish will adapt to the size of the tank that it's in. If we think of ourselves in this small little way, in a small little fishbowl, then it's like we can't grow. It's like expanding that out creates a much bigger, stronger, more powerful animal. Mm -hmm. Afraid of disappointment, three of swords, sure. Scared of being a failure, scared of people seeing, being heartbroken. Maybe some of you are scared of confronting like self-limiting beliefs because it's a lot of hard work, right? That can sometimes be a bit of a thing here. I like how your outcome, we have charity. All right. So this is saying, see where you can give more of yourself to helping others to make a difference. For some, it's humanitarian work, human rights, justice, or advocacy work that might be right for you. It also says donating can create positive, en positive energy around you and attract more abundance. Um, yeah, it's, even if you're having trouble, this is saying like in your energetic field, <laughs> while talking about wealth, abundance, career, to think of places that give joy, that give love, right, with the Queen of Cups, where you can see, give more of yourself to help others to make a difference of some kind. What can I do to make something better? And that's a wonderful self-esteem building exercise to see yourself as useful, to see yourself as a, as a positive influence on others. Um, could look into humanitarian work, justice or advocacy. That could be helpful for some of you. That could also be for some of you something that you need to access. All right. So this could be saying that for your best desired future outcome, you might want to look into groups that might advocate for you or help you in some way. There might be community organizations or resources that you might not realize are there that can actually provide you a little bit of a push or a little bit of a, a sounding board that can help to get you off the ground. Yeah, two of swords. Having It's important decisions, seven of pentacles. So hard work, but seeing it through, right? This is probably... The hardest, like this is always a difficult energy, right? You might come into this in the, in the future, pausing on something. Some of you might be scared to ask for help, um, but it feels like it's more like working on things, putting it together, making it worthwhile. Yeah, some self-limiting beliefs. It's, yeah. Some of you have really been through the ringer when it comes to things like money, wealth, and abundance. But it's saying here that there are things for you to access. Um, I'm going to give you an oracle card here. May I have something for my Pisces that may resonate with this message? What do they need to know in regards to finance, work, and career? 
what's important for them. The Rose's Kiss. Okay, let's see if I can hold, I can never hold these still, I have shaky hands. Okay, this says, the key concepts are joy, experiencing pleasure, deep satisfaction, and enjoyment, desires acknowledged, five sensory reality. It's saying, take a deep breath and center on the feeling of joy. Can you allow your senses to awaken and connect with your innate desire to experience all that life has to offer? Pleasure is a part of life. Let yourself surrender to it. Our modern times often present a false ideal of how we're meant to experience the world. Connections are lost and distorted by our over-reliance on technology. Just look around and see how few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation. Instead of tapping away at a screen, pausing, pause and consider how you can make more intimate contact. Connecting with nature, enjoying the sensual pleasures of the sex and or being aware of the sensations of taste touch smell sight and sound could be very important to you right now how do your sheets feel can you reach out and feel the heat and softness of your companion animals nestled beside you being present to another person seeing them and letting yourself be seen your five senses are aching to be engaged right now. This is an invitation to get out of your head and get into your body. You may be a spiritual and intelligent being, but right now the emphasis should be on having a sensory experience. This is a sacred part of the gift of life. By being present to the sensual world, you invite an inner, deeper spiritual experience. Amazing, isn't it? Perhaps it really is time to stop and kiss the roses. This feels like moving through life with more romance, right? Sensual sort of ideas, being grounded in your experiences. Um, there was a book, I think it was my mom, somebody had read years ago and they talked about, I think it was called Everyday Luxury or something like that. Um, and it talked about how they had, the person who wrote it talked about drinking their morning water, like with their breakfast, out of a wine glass, a beautiful piece of, a nice piece of stemware that they got from a thrift store or something like that. So it didn't have to break the bank, but it was a special thing. It was a way to try and make that experience more beautiful, right? To make it more appealing in some way. Um, for some of you, that could be something that you kind of help create for others, right? With beauty. Um, it could be really, you know, going after that kind of sense of romance in your life and love of paying attention to intimate connections. Intimate doesn't have to mean sexual, right? <laughs> it can, the way that we connect with other people and see them eye to eye like this two to cut two of cups, right? Okay. Pisces, this is what I got for you. I hope this was interesting or helpful or made sense in some way. Okay. Uh, if you want to please subscribe and take care of yourselves, babies, okay? I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.